Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, um, here in the Holding Eye, where we are about to engage Garuda. No, I don't want to return to Vidania, but you can, if you so desire. All our efforts, our, our travails, all of this, all of it was for this. Make ready, for the end is nigh, be it hers or ours. And with that, and we unlock the, the trial, the Howling Eye. Wait. There she is. Who dares intrude upon my sanctuary? Your insolence shall not go unpunished, Landwalkers. Preserve. She's she's huge as I live and breathe. Excellent. Over there, look. Cobalt with Amalja. Amalja and Cobalt prisoners. But why would we Ixel bring them here? Wherefore come you hither, um, foolish mortals? Garuda, we are come to put an end to your reign of terror. Hear you this blasphemy, my children? These landwalkers would bring me low. You who are bound to crawl upon the earth should revere me, for I am the wind. Did we not take to the skies and slip your defenses? We are bound by nothing, Garuda. You think your playthings give you strength? They will not help you here, Landwalker. This is my realm, where none can challenge my supremacy. Struggle you, though you may, I shall slake the roots of your blood and festoon the canopy with your entrails. <laughs> Slave unfeathered ones we shall, as an offering to Garuda, we will serve. Leave the exile to us. We will keep them distracted while de you deal with her. Do not fail. Remember, you fight for the science, for Eorzea. This one would die by mine own hand. Come then, I shall grant you that which you seek.
quite as integral as it is for the Bard. Soon you will see the depths of your folly, mortals. But almost. I. And comes. Okay. The rocks are gone. Now it comes. There's no escape. No hope. None. No, no, no! What? How in the hell? <laughs> this is my realm. You have no hope here. None. None! Did you truly believe you could defy a god, Landwalkers? They're praying. My power is limitless, my children legion, and they have rendered unto me a wealth of crystals. Their gifts sustain me. Their faith empowers me. None save my children will escape the reckoning mortals, and those who would use my crystals to waken the rest shall realize the folly of their faith. Then all shall worship none but me, the one true God. <laughs> Cause worship, so long as the Ixxar keep praying, you should, she will never fail. Then let's stop them. <laughs> no harm will come to you, my children. This is only the beginning, Landwalkers. All who oppose me shall suffer for their defiance. Soon the worms of the forest shall receive my judgment. The desert vermin next. Their walls of stone will not shield them from the tempest. And then I will take vengeance on the sea lice. Their wooden boats cannot outrun the wind. Tremble, mortals, for I shall visit you all in time. And all shall be mine. All mine! You Landwalker, you who dared to raise your hand against me, you shall be the first to pay for your sins. Not with your death, but with your life. You will serve me, Landwalker, to your last breath. No, no, I claimed you. 
You should be mine. I take that. Thank you. And the last one. What? What are you? What have you done to me? No mortal should possess such power. This... this is impossible. Why do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it! Ah! Impossible Garuda. it is! Kill you all! Is that all? O oh, Lady of the Vortex! O oh, mighty Garuda! Of all primals the most terrible, I say again. Is that all? What is he doing here? Gaius! Ah, uh, Sid, my boy. You look well. For one who has forsaken kin and country. I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... Well, I shall accomplish far more. Is that all? Is that all? Insolent mortal! I shall make you suffer! That foul stench! I see now. She has touched you! Very well. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? Oh, Lord of the Inferno, Almighty, he freed, brought us succor in our hour of need. Oh, scheiße. Save us, Titan, Lord of Crags. Oh, it hurts us so. The pain, the pain. What is she? Twelve preserve. She cannot mean to. Yes, she does. And best effort. And best Titan. No, no, this is all wrong. Stop gawping, boy. We must run. Well, I suppose they were fed by the life force of their followers, right? But how much- Surrender yourselves unto me! 
I would feast upon your ether! None shall stand against the wind! How much is that life force worth in crystals? Hm. Guess I don't know. That? Bear witness to the glory of the Empire. Titan. That match is lost, I guess. Oh, ow. Gut punch. It is you who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alec had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair. No! 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 Now it can fly. Magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. We'll see about that. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. Twelve, have mercy. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion, and Supreme Commander of the Garlean Invasion Force in Eorzea. Of course. The Black Wolf. How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts, but that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, guys. Where in the seven hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments. But the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the primals to one side. For the time being, at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. It must be destroyed. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All right. All is not yet lost, my friend. 
For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. That weapon didn't destroy those primals, it devoured them. God only knows what else it can do. Well, that was an experience I would rather not have again. Something has been troubling me. Shortly before the Black Wolf took center stage, when Garuda attempted to claim you as her own, I could have sworn I saw... But uh, I'm sure I was mistaken. In times of great stress, the evidence of the eye can is apt to be misread by even my most inquiring mind. Forget I mentioned it. Returning to the subject of our earlier discussion, we may consider the matter of a primal closed for, until further notice. No beast tribe would dare summon their god so long as that weapon exists. Truly, a more efficient, a more effective deterrent I could not imagine. It almost seems a shame to plot its destruction. Free Wing Knight. It's past time we return to the waking sense. To leave our headquarters in disrepair any longer would be a dishonor to the memories of those who fell there. We have been brought to our knees, but we will rest, rebuild and rise once more. Of course, that is a bit out of the way. Remember, Vesper Bay doesn't have an either, right? I had no idea. I can only imagine how he felt when we returned that day. Tell me, does Ort here strike you as Ort? I see signs of recent habitation. Could it be we have trespassers? Hmm, mayhap it's just my imagination. Come, let us proceed into the solar. Wait. Quiet. Who goes there? Now, now, Ida. Is that a way to greet a friend? I don't know. Desiree? Sit? Wait, is this a dream? Not that I'm aware of. It's been a while, Ida. I don't believe it. I was so sure you'd been... <laughs> this place has seen better days. Um, you know, I wasn't actually here when... I was still in talks at the Edda's Nest. The first I knew ab about it was when I came back and... And I saw... Ida. The church had taken care of the bodies, but it still left the stains. It, it, it was hard to know where to start. If Ishtola hadn't been here to help me... Ishtola is here? Yes, but she's not here right now. She's gone to Ulda to meet a man who might know what happened to the others. Papa Limo and Mephilia went among the dead, according to the church. Ishtola thinks they were taken somewhere. Upon the orders of a black wolf, no doubt. Why would he want them? Because they possess something he desires. Knowledge of another power that can be brought to bear against the primals. One that Gaius has yet to harness. The Echo. Gaius will be aware of its existence, as well as the immunity it grants to the gift grants were gifted to the primal's influence. Powerful though the Alagan weapon may be, he would doubtless desire such protection. He means to use Menphilia to gain an understanding of the Echo. 
none of which explains how the Empire came to know the location of Awakening Sands in the first place. No, madam. The Empire has shown its hand and now we must act. It's, it is up to us to rebuild the science and save the Orsium. Can I count on you, Ida? What? Yes, yes, of course. Whatever you need. We can discuss our next move upon his dollar's return. For now, I say we rest. Hear, feel, think. Do you want to show us? Bringer of light. Brave gatherer of the crystals, thy soul burneth bright. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. Hearken unto me now, for the darkness doth begin to spread. Wear thee the bearer of the crimson brand, for he is the avatar of shadow, whom death attendeth always. The crystals shall be thy salvation, thy blade and shield both. Steal thyself, for at the appointed hour thou shalt stare into the heart of darkness. Go with caution, my child, but fear not, for I am ever with thee. He stole her. Desiree. I see you and Alvino are safe, and and Sid. That was that we five should meet each other was the five simple explanation. It's as if the benevolent hand of Master Louis Swa guides us still. He would not see us undone so easily, not now when the need is so great. I know where Menphilia and the others are being held. Where? An imperious stronghold in the heart of Mordona. Custom Sentry. Okay, but I take a rest here and we continue this probably next time. Until then, I'm Mace and don't get lost.